Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 9th through the 15th of January 2022. I hope you guys had a good new year and you're having a good week. I do want to go ahead and remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If you find that that is your situation, I would encourage you to check your other signs and placements. See if those readings might resonate just a little better. And also keep in mind in a general reading that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. That is not at all unusual. Also, if you would like a personal reading, the directions are in the box beneath this video. So, let's get started, Scorpio. Spirit, can I have the energy of Scorpio? Scorpio. Energy of Scorpio. Alright, you start out with the Six of Coins in the reverse. You have the Four of Swords in the reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, very nice. Okay, so Scorpio, I do feel um, that you may have pulled back a little bit in the um, most recent past. You um, kind of isolated yourself. You pulled back to heal your energy. And it was most likely due to a situation that was uneven. There was an uneven give and take in some form. And so I do feel like you kind of pulled back. Um, I feel like you've healed your energy a great deal. You um, maybe are communicating again and you're kind of coming out of that shell a little bit. And the good news here is that you have this Wheel of Fortune in the upright. So things are turning in your favor. So this is a wonderful card for you to be getting. I'm so happy to see this for you. So you you kind of um, went into this, you know, with things kind of not the best, you know, feeling like uh, things weren't even. They were unbalanced, not even. You, you took the time for yourself, took care of yourself, and now it seems like um, things are going to be turning in your favor. So that's great. If they haven't, Already, they will be, so chin up here. Let's see um, who you are connecting with, Scorpio. Who is Scorpio connecting with? Who is Scorpio connecting with? Okay, that card was determined to come out. All right, we start out with the Knight of Coins in the reverse. And this is the card that was determined to come out. It's the Four of Cups in the reverse and temperance all right so the person you are connecting with i do feel like this person has been feeling a little bit stuck um when you see the knight of coins in the upright that is slow slow movement in the reverse it's stuck no movement not moving forward at all so this person is feeling very stuck in some area of their life um, it could be financial because it is coins after all it could just be in general this person is feeling stuck. Now, they are being very patient about this, and I do feel as if um, they are trying to utilize this time wisely, and that's good. Um, they have gone through a period where it appears that they may have, um, they may have been, mm, how do I want to word this? They may have been, um, not really engaged in life, I guess, is the best way for me to put it. They were kind of um, not really engaged in life. They really weren't, um, they didn't, they kind of didn't care. They, they kind of didn't care about things. And I feel like they're kind of now starting to re-engage. They're kind of um, feeling a little more optimistic. And um, with temperance here, they're balancing out their emotions. It's taken a little time to get there. Um, still feeling a little stuck, but trying to, to regain their balance here. So I like that. Um, let's see. Let's see the energy of this connection. Let's 
tell me the energy of this connection. You might be dealing with a Sagittarian. This is a very patient person. All right, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse along with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so right now both of you are kind of holding back. Mostly this person though that you're dealing with. Um, they're, they're the ones that are pri is primarily holding back and I feel like that's not really what you want. Um, you would rather that they didn't hold back. So you're not really getting what it is that you want um, in the situation right now. They're holding back emotions. Um, let's see what is directly affecting this situation. The Six of Cups. You may have known this person for a while. Um, if you haven't known this person for a while, you may know them from a previous lifetime, um, or they could be a soulmate. But there, there is love here. Um, yeah, that the, they're a soulmate. Um, so let's. So there's a there's a deeper connection here. Let's um let's see the outcome. The two of spears okay so in the outcome somebody is going to be at a crossroads in fact it's shared energy so both of you will be at a crossroads trying to determine whether or not um, or what direction to take interesting so I feel like you may have known this person this may be somebody that you've known for a while um, and if this is very targeted towards you, if this is if this energy right here is very targeted towards you, Scorpio, this person may not have recognized that you were this spiritual connection to them. They they may have known you for a while and not really um, recognize that they had feelings for you. Hmm. Because they're holding back their feelings. It's not, and it's not telling me that they don't know they have feelings. They've recognized it now, but they're holding their feelings back. And for some reason, they're being very patient about this. They're not moving forward. They're being very patient. So that's very interesting to me. All right, so bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords in the reverse. Interesting. This is underlying energy. Now... That would indicate that somebody just went through a very painful experience. And they're healing from this painful experience. That may be you. Because you also have the four swords. So that would be a progression from the three to the four. And the four swords is all about healing. Um, that might be why your person here is holding back. Very interesting. All right, so let's clarify. Why is the Six of Coins here? Why is the Six of Coins in reverse? All right, we have the Sun and we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so there was a situation here, Scorpio, for you where there was an unequal give and take. Now, there could have been somebody who was giving their attention to more than one person. If that's the case, you may have discovered it. It came out to the light of day. It, it came out to the sun. It, it was The Queen of Wands can sometimes be a, another person, um, a, a third party. So... Um, that's a possibility that might have been where this um, painful experience came from. So for some of you, that, that may be your story. Um, but for others of you that that is not involved, there was no third party involved, what I am seeing here is that you, you have taken the steps, and regardless, even if that is, you've definitely taken the steps necessary here to 
assure your own happiness. Um, your goal here is to be happy. And I do feel that you have gone through something that was not even. It was not balanced. And that's what caused pain for you. So I feel like you made your happiness a priority, Scorpio. And I, I do believe that you you have taken the steps necessary to ensure your happiness. And that's why you're reaping these benefits. You've put yourself first, and I think that that's a really good thing to do. Why is the Four of Swords here in reverse? Knight of Cups. And the Three of Coins in the reverse. That's interesting because this came out in, whose who's reading was it? It was the person of um, Pisces. Pisces person had this. Same combination, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but in any event, yes, Four of Swords in the reverse. So, so I do think that... Um, you, you've taken the time here to heal. You've healed your energy. And I do feel like you're now open to love. And I do feel that you are willing to give love. You're willing to receive love. And I think, though, that with this three of pentacles in the reverse, you do not at this time have the foundation necessary to... Um, to you know establish a connection so you might still be working on your foundation whether that be financial or whether that be you know just within yourself so I do think that you are still working on your foundation in order to um, in order to have connection to have a new beginning but you are opening yourself up to love again and I also see that you are open to discussing these things now I do see with this wheel of fortune that everything's going to be turning in your favor and I think it's because you're putting in the work Scorpio you're doing the things necessary to get you to that point look at that six of cups again mm -hmm. beautiful and the nine of rods in the reverse. Yeah, overcoming all these problems in order to have a soulmate, a soulmate love, a soulmate connection, a spiritual connection. So, and that's what's coming in for you. Um, I think that's why this this person is in your life. You're you're overcoming these problems that you've had. And so spirit is rewarding you. Spirit is bringing in a spiritual connection. This is amazing. And it's really, it's because you are taking the time to heal your energy, to put yourself first, to love yourself. And I, I feel like you're overcoming all the blockages that you've had. It's very nice energy. Um, your wheel of fortune, your great wheel of fortune is the six of cups what is directly affecting the connection all right let's look at their energy now they have the knight of coins so they're not moving they're not budging let's see why where did that card go oh. all right we have the king of swords in the reverse air sign energy gemini libra aquarius and we have the three of swords swords in the upright okay so that's interesting so they're not budging because they're seeing that there's a painful experience here so they may not be aware that you're healing from this um king of swords in the reverse indicates somebody who is angry who's who's upset who's upset or angry um, and that's why they're not moving. That's why they're not budging. So they're upset or angry about a, a painful experience. 
Huh. Hmm. Let's see why is the Four of Cups here in the reverse. Pentacles and the magician. So this person may have also gone through a painful experience because what this is telling me, Scorpio, is that your person was out of sorts. They were either either depressed, upset, or angry about a very painful, emotionally painful experience, possibly a third party situation. It and they were stuck in that. They were they were stuck in that pain. They were stuck in those emotions. And it caused them to basically be a little bit unstable for a minute here. It caused them to kind of not have a joy for life. It was related to a, a betrayal, to a painful ending. But they too have been taking themselves out of this because they've manifested, they've manifested a new offer. They've manifested something new, good news. They've manifested um, a new beginning, a new, um, something new with the page of pentacles. It's tangible um, and it's something brand new being a page. So now they're feeling a bit more optimistic. So they've manifested this connection is what it is. Why is temperance here? There it is again. Four of cups in the reverse. And the hierophant. <laughs> so they're being very patient. They're being patient as they turn this thing around and they are manifesting this this uh, commitment. They're, they're patiently manifesting this commitment. They're patiently turning this situation around. So they're manifesting this connection. Let's look at uh, the connection itself. Because you're not happy that they're holding back emotions, but um, it tells me they're holding back emotions because they feel like um, like uh, you, they may not be what you want. Let's see. All right, we have the Four of Swords. We have the Fool in Reverse. And we have the Four of Wands. All right, so Scorpio. So what this is telling me is that right now, the two of you are not together. The two of you are not actually together. It's telling me you're not together, that you're afraid to take this risk. You're afraid to take this risk. And they're holding back because they're because of a uh, marriage that they there's either a marriage or a long-term connection that needs to end or has ended. So their reason for holding back has to do with the ending. And you feel like you're not getting what you want because someone here is afraid to take a risk. So you may feel that they, they're afraid to take a risk that they're holding back. But what this is telling me is that right now the two of you are not together. They're holding back emotions. You're not getting what you want right now. Now this is a this is a spiritual connection. So let's see what that's about. 
And this is what's going to change here, too. This is going to be overcome. So let's see what, what comes out with this. Yeah, strength card and the nine of swords. Okay. So remember, you have the wheel of fortune. So things are going to turn in your favor. So what this is saying here is you're going to have to be really strong. You're going to have to over... In order to overcome this, you're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to basically... Um, you're, you're going to have to overcome these problems by being strong. They, on the other hand, they are going to overcome their fears. It's going to take a minute, but they're going to overcome all these fears because this is a destined connection. This connection is destined. It's a, it's a soulmate connection. So while the two of you are not together, it's saying that you you have to hold hold yourself in a in a position of strength. They will overcome the fears that are present. Now, in the outcome we have the two of spears. Let's see what that's about. So you both may be coming out of um, something and but I feel like you are definitely further along. Yeah, further along. Um, all right. So in the outcome, we have the two of spears, which um, has the two of you deciding what direction to go. Okay. Um, it is clarified by the ten of wands in the reverse. Again, overcoming all these problems. So overcoming all these problems and choosing a new direction, choosing a, a, a new direction, um, and that's shared energy. So both of you will be doing that simultaneously. You have the death card, which means there's a transformation coming through. You're ending one area of your life, and you know it's a transformation. So there's a transformation coming into this connection. They are ending something entirely and beginning a new cycle. So you're transforming this. They're ending something and beginning a new cycle. Both of you will be choosing a new direction. So you're going to overcome these problems. You have to remain strong throughout this because they are going to overcome their fears. There's something they need to end in order to move forward. But the biggest thing here, Scorpio, is that you have this wheel of fortune and it is attached to this spiritual connection. So like I said, it's it's a reward. It's like a reward is being given to you for having worked on yourself. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. Underlying energy. Um, it does indicate to me that there, um, there's something here that's not being discussed, something that's not being talked about um, between the two of you. So, there might be a lack of communication entirely as well. Alright, I'm going to pull tea leaf cards and see what we get. You have chair. Um, it says, uh, chair empty, it says someone is leaving your life. Okay? So someone is leaving your life. I do not feel it is this person. I feel like it is whoever um, you started out this read with that was in this unequal give and take situation. Um, and I feel like this person is coming in as this spiritual connection. All right, for the person you are connected with, it says egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Okay, that's nice. Very nice. And for the connection itself, we have target. A goal-oriented person. And you know, I mentioned that uh, you had some cards that were similar with Pisces. They had this card in the exact same spot as well. 
So I don't know if some of you guys are involved with a Pisces, but if you are, I would look at that reading. All right, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you would, like and share the video. Um, also, if uh, you haven't already subscribed, I really hope you would. Um, that will make my day. And um, if you would like to drop a comment, you're more than welcome to do so. I read all of them. So until I see you next week, namaste.